What's up guys and good morning. Today we're starting off the video a little bit different. We're just getting right to work. Already had my coffee this morning. Allie's upstairs doing some yoga with Leo. We are getting the holes drilled in our brand new doors that are painted and everything is ready to go. We're gonna throw the hinges in here. We're gonna start installing them in the laundry room. All right, well, we got all the hinges drilled for these four doors the other two still need to be painted. So probably should start doing that now and then we can come back and start working on these hinges. Should give her a nice quick stir, reincorporate all the oils. Oh no. Uh-oh. So the Trent paint can shake is a better idea than stirring. Painting these doors can be a little bit more difficult than it was to paint the small doors. Mostly because I'm close to the toilet, close to the wall. Just gotta make sure I don't get foreign bodies in the paint. It's like really frustrating because I put down this plastic so that like I don't get paint on the floor or anything like that. <clears throat> but then like all the lint and hair and dust like sticks to the plastic and then when you step on it, it like puffs up. So like, it's just basically putting a lot of dirt and dust and hair into our paint. But it's the best we can do right now because it's like below freezing outside and uh, painting outside just isn't gonna happen today. I know that you are having a hard time right now. More paint, please. Then everything seems to crumble around you. All right, so we've got the first coat on one side of these doors. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a lot harder to paint the sides of these doors than it was with the small ones. The small ones, I could just take a turn setting them on top of the paint can and paint the sides and like let it dry really quick. These are gonna be a little bit more uh, time intensive. So we've got the first coat on one side of the doors. We're gonna go back out, start working on the hinges while this dries. We'll just kind of go back and forth until I get two solid coats on every side of both of these doors. And then once that's fully dry or pretty dry, I'm gonna go ahead and put the hinges on these and get them mounted. These hinges are like actually really easy to install. I always was intimidated by this style of hinge because I didn't understand it fully, but like most things, once you understand it fully, it's not intimidating. So basically you drill these two holes here, this hole and that hole, and then these hinges have like a little circular plunge that goes into that hole like that. Now you do have to be careful because these can be out of square. So we're gonna square these up the best that we can and get them mounted in there. And then one of the most awesome best part about these hinges is that they adjust in multiple ways, like in and out and forward and backward. These are soft close, so no slamming of the cabinet doors. And then uh, you can adjust them once they're installed to make sure everything's perfect and plumb and level and square. It's really cool. On the first door, we've run into a little bit of an issue. Now, it's not a it's not a terrible problem, but it's not perfect. So we spent all this time trying to make these doors as perfect as possible. And as far as like cosmetics go, I think they're almost as good as it gets. Now we're running into a little bit of an issue right here. When I'm trying to square up these hinges, I've got this bottom one squared up, but this top one has what is probably impossible to see right there is about a 16th or, or 3 30 seconds of a gap there. So if I pop this bottom hinge out, see how that slides over just a little bit more? And then this one won't actually go into its hole. So there's a little bit of a difference there. Now this is probably because the door is a tiny bit out of square or something like that, which could be from, from heating and uh, expanding and contracting from being hot and being cold and being outside and going back inside. Things can like that can happen. So. It's just not absolutely perfect. Now, the good news is, is what I was saying about these hinges being adjustable in so many different ways, is this little back panel here from one of these screws will actually move in and move out. So after you get the, the panel mounted, 
you can actually move the top and the bottom in and out and it's to adjust the doors but if you have something like this where the hinge is off by you know a sixteenth of an inch or an eighth of an inch this little panel here can move over so that the two hinges still operate perfectly but you don't have to make a new door because we already drilled that hole there's no fixing that so we're gonna do our best here there's one door with two soft closing hinges you probably can't see that they're soft closing but they're they're slowly closing right now softly <laughs> Spirit of playing musical chairs. Now that we've uh, mounted the hinges on those two doors, let's go inside and see if that first coat of paint is at least dry enough to where I can put another coat on or paint the other side or something. Let's go see. Do you recall when we were young, running from all things at once without thinking twice? And I knew we would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind the stories i've been told they never seem to leave my mind Ooh, on this road that i am on i gotta stay here for some time this is what i'm talking about nice painting chair <laughs> dual purpose chair that's how i'm gonna be when i'm old just getting my projects done on the can. <laughs> I'll let this dry and then I'll flip them over, do one coat on the top and a coat on the sides, another coat on the top and another coat on the sides, and then we'll have three coats on the sides, two coats on each panel, and I think that'll probably be good enough. All right, so now we've got all the hinges mounted and all of the cabinet poles mounted to these four doors. The other two doors are still awaiting their like second coat or first coat on the one side of paint. Uh, but I think we have a little bit of time, so maybe we'll go and try and get some of these at least hung, and then we'll probably wait to adjust them. Actually, I'm not even gonna hang these right now because I don't wanna be working above the wet paint right now, so we're just gonna take five. Leo and I just finished up our morning yoga practice. He is getting ready for his second morning nap of the day. He hasn't been napping really well recently. Uh, yesterday, he only had two naps all day long. And I was like, oh, what's going on with this guy? He's not gonna sleep, he's gonna be overtired, the night is gonna be terrible. And then he slept from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. No wake-ups. That's nine hours. That's like well, more than I can sleep. We were just idiots and went to bed at midnight. We should I have just gone to bed with him. I haven't been able to sleep nine hours since I was like 16. <laughs> All right, well, I just got through putting the last coat of paint on these doors, and let me just say that these doors are speckled with hair and dust. No! And that's just, yeah, that's just the way it's gonna be. There's just a lot of dust and hair and all kinds of things, but it gives it character. I thought you were gonna say that's the way the cookie crumbles, and I was gonna say, I hopefully there's not any cookie crumbs on these doors yet. There very well could be. The dust that's straight up off the ground is probably at least 10% cookies in this house. Wow. Anyway, uh, those are just drying now, and then we just need to drill uh, the spots for the hinges and then throw the, the cabinet poles on those, and they'll be ready to get mounted. Nice. All four of these doors are outside, ready to be mounted. I just didn't want to be like in here working and drilling above this stuff while it's wet paint, so. Are you painting in here? Because it's too cold outside? Yeah. But it's, it's like still, 27 degrees. It's very chilly. Yeah. What are you doing? Taking a Leibachuken break. <laughs> That's not a good way to start your day. Lay break, Ugin. <laughs> I started my day with athletic greens, and then I had some coffee, and now I'm having some cookies. Hey. Or labor cooking. Here, you eat that one. This it's the bottom boring. of those cookies. It is the bottom of those cookies. It, it is paper. Eat it. No. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it is though, right? I don't know, dude. Take a bite of that. That's like styrofoam. It doesn't taste bad, it's just a very weird texture. Is that wrapping? I think it's edible. <laughs> <laughs> there was this little uh, playing card of the king that was on top of these cookies and it kind of broke apart like a little wafer and I was like, oh, this is probably food. And I don't think it's food. <laughs> I think it's a really thin type of styrofoam <laughs> that Brandon and I just ate. But now we're gonna try a different type of Leverkuchen. Oh, that looks like a Pop-Tart. That's oh, a real Leverkuchen. It's soft. Mm. Crunch. Well, there's no crunch in these German cookies. They're, oh. a, they're a soft, succulent type of people. <laughs> That's why I like soft cookies so much. <laughs> this is where it's at. You guys are so missing out. Delicious, fresh, fiber-filled oatmeal. Poop. Yeah, poop oatmeal. Yeah. <laughs> I pooped four times yesterday. It was amazing. <laughs> Tell the people. That's too much fiber. <laughs> Bryce, is that you? This is a pre recorded message from So Shell C Cure T Noom Burr Invest T Gation Team. This message <laughs> what? It's a computer that? attempting to say investigation. Wow. Oh. <laughs> you don't think that was real? Investigation. <laughs> <laughs> this is the federal government. It wasn't an investigation and it wasn't Bryce. Yeah, no, it was spam. <laughs> Potential spam that I thought it was. So now we've got our big doors. Uh, they've got the hinges on them. They've got the drawer, the cabinet pulls. The drawer pulls. I just call them handles, but I think they're called cabinet pulls anyways. They're cute. They look great. Uh, we just need to put all of them into their respective locations now. I think we're going to start up here. Now, are these soft clothes? These are soft clothes. Really? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. The softest of the clothing. Nice. That makes such a difference. Yeah, it does. I haven't heard a cabinet slam since we moved in here. On Leo's baby dresser, that slams. Oh yeah, that piece of crap. <laughs> that's the only one. We didn't make it. Everything that we made. That's exactly is very right. Nice. All right, well, let me go grab these. Ooh. That's a very slow soft close. Turn the top one off. No, I want it like that. So you can slam it? I think it's just super crooked. Is it crooked? Yeah, well they're adjustable, so. Okay. I'm ready to see how good of a uh, tape measure my eyeball is. Yeah, let's see it. Okay. Not very good at all. From this angle it looks fine. What? Okay, there's a little bit of a Look gap. At that. <laughs> it's a little bit uneven. And there's a huge gap in the middle. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get a screwdriver so we can do the fine adjustments to get the gap closed up as much as possible and hopefully it works. You know, I really was uh, unsure about black hardware, but I think it looks really nice with the black on the washer and dryer. Yeah, it was kind of a little debate that we had because all of the hardware and everything on this side of the bathroom is all gold, but what inevitably happens with things like gold is you end up with 50 shades of gold because <laughs> no manufacturer can just make gold in the and same it, color. Even if it was the same color, I think it would have been too overwhelming to do gold on these handles. It just like would have been a little bit too much. And there's like, there's not really, there's green on the wall here, but there's not really any green anywhere else. Like it stops there and it stops here. So I think it was the right move to do black. And when this is closed, yeah, like that handle is black. The washer and dryer has black. I think it just... It looks clean, you it, know? I think, yeah, it makes it look nice and modern too, so. Yeah. It's really exciting because once this is done, we were just talking about how this room will be officially fully finished. Pretty much every other room in the house still needs a little bit of touching up and finishing touches, but I can start decorating this room and I have some really fun ideas for what to put on the walls in here. Mostly pictures of Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Nice. Looks a lot better now, huh? Yeah, way better. Did I earn a Leibekuchen? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Leibekuchen for everybody! I'm starving. <laughs> Have a German Pop-Tart. Thank you. You're welcome. It's just us two. Me and you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe it seems like things went really fast for you guys today. There was a lot of watching paint dry that happened for us, so it didn't really go super fast, but it's done. All the cabinets are done. They've got the handles on them. We adjusted them so that all the gaps are like perfect and parallel. Looking extra sharp. I'm really, uh, really pleased with the way these came out. And I think since we, you know, did it the right way and made sure that the doors are nice and super sturdy and solid and built well, they're gonna last forever. So we hope. Now I guess, uh, maybe just start organizing the shelves on the inside, but that's gonna be for another day. I'm just uh, really excited for Allie to come down and see how it looks. All right, so Allie has been dealing with some problems that she had with Leo. What happened? It wasn't even a blowout. I was just changing his diaper. I had his feet up so I could wipe his bum and he peed all over himself, like fully soaked himself. So we had to do a full bath and a full outfit change. How's he doing? Oh, he's, he just ate, he's super chill. Oh, hi Leo. Hello. How you doing bud? Are you having a great day? Nice and clean. Are you having the best day ever? He's like, I'm tired, please let me sleep. Bath time really takes it out of you, you know? Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> All right, so okay. everything is done. Okay. And if you don't like it, you just have to live with it. <laughs> Can I come in? Mm-hmm. Oh, baby! Wow! It looks so professional! Oh my goodness. Bam! Oh. Whoa, come on! <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> They're not bulletproof. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. Cool. They look beautiful. You did a really good job. Thanks. I nice. think they turned out pretty nice. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's probably going to do it for us today. We didn't get that much done, but we did have a lot of fun, and I'm really excited that these are done and that they turned out nicely. So Beautifully. Just feel so lucky. All right guys, it is the end of the day. We are getting ready to wrap things up, but we wanted to take a minute and let you guys know, today's video is sponsored by Brightland. And Brightland makes some of the best, highest quality olive oils you guys have ever seen. With Brightland, you know the exact type of olives and fruit used and the year of harvest of each product. There's no additives, no junk, and it's produced with organic methods. Brightland actually sent us three different varieties of their olive oil. They sent us the Awake, the Alive, and the Arise. The one that I I've actually been using the most is the Awake, and that's because it's good for homemade soups, stews, hearty pasta, and warm bread. I'm about to throw it on some warm bread right now. Their premium oils taste different, thanks to their heirloom olives grown in California and their sharp and peppery taste due to the antioxidant-rich compounds. With Brightland, you can always rely on their expertise, their delicious taste, sustainable practices, and health benefits. They have five times as many antioxidant-rich polyphenols compared to most olive oils. The color, the burst of flavor, the texture, everything is like, it's delicious. If you guys are interested in trying out Brightland's products, you guys can get 10% off if you click the link in our description right now. So start the new year off right and try something new. Thanks again to Brightland for sponsoring today's video. Now we will see you guys in the morning. Call me out, why don't you laugh? Lift me up higher above the clouds, won't you laugh? What's up guys? Good morning. We are getting a jump on things today. I'm really happy that the laundry is basically done, the laundry room. Also, the pantry is done. I got that other support mounted on. Everything in there is finished. The kitchen is almost complete. One thing that we are planning on doing in the kitchen is we're gonna do some floating shelves right here for my 40th birthday. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this for a very, very long time. Hey, that's but any day now, be that, careful. Shut up, <laughs> it's not. Uh, also, these are still the wrong doors. Yeah. It's very frustrating. We're having trouble getting in touch with the guy at Home Depot and pretty soon we're gonna have to be like, hey, I know it's been six months, yeah. but we need the right doors. Or maybe we don't, I don't know. Anyway, 
We got our blinds in the mail. Now, one problem that we had is we measured for all the rough openings except for this window and this window because we had to do our backsplash. So we ordered all the blinds except for those two windows and all the blinds except for those two windows have now shown up. So those are on the way. They'll probably be here in maybe like a week or something. I have no idea. But all the blinds, the brains, everything is in the sunroom. We're gonna go start trying to unpack that stuff and hopefully, I'm kind of nervous because if we put these up, we're not gonna be able to like make them functional until we like wire the brains in and do everything in the basement. Oh. And that kind of has me nervous. The only problem here is that we don't have like an under the stairs place to start. So there isn't really like a least visible spot to do a trial run because these yeah. are all like the front of our house where it's south facing and super sunny. So pick a window that's the least consequential and let's yeah, just give that probably, a try. It's probably the bedroom. The bedroom? Yeah. That's cool, okay. The least seen by other eyes. Yeah. All right, so before we get started, I do have to give a huge shout out. Melissa at y Pliance is a follower of ours and she actually hooked us up with an incredible deal on these blinds. They are very expensive and she was so kind to help us out and we are so grateful. And y Pliance does basically like all audio visual, all smart home stuff, a lot of really, really cool tech. So if you guys are in the market for blinds or speakers or TVs or anything electrical and technological, we highly recommend y Pliance. You guys can check them out. I'll put a link in the description to their website. And I just wanted to say thanks again for, for hooking us up because they rock. Now, without further ado. We're off to a great start. They were just reading the French installation instructions. <laughs> we gotta make sure the French aren't doing it better than us. <laughs> Any day now, we'll have blinds. <laughs> I had to do a little bit of work this morning, get some stuff done on the computer. I figured, all right, I'd let these guys install the first blind, get out all the kinks. I've been gone for a while. Look where they're at. I'm about to take lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got anything done. Is it just really complicated? Uh, just a few steps. It's just a little different. Like they say, guys, the first cut is the deepest. The first shade is the hardest. They are working out the kinks, and I'm sure as soon as they get this one all set up, everything else will go smoother, faster, and easier. <laughs> At least, fingers crossed. <laughs> it's not that bad. I mean, I just don't want to do anything to mess them up because it took like three months to get them. And know? they're expensive. And they're expensive. So, Taking our time, going slow, doing it the right way. We'll see y'all in five days once this is done. <laughs> see you next year. <laughs> oh boy. Thanks, Mika. Yeah, big stretch. It takes me a long time to get any projects done because I just have to spend a little bit of time every day or every project consoling this little baby from crying. It's not consoling, it's loving. Mm, loving. Mm. He hates the kisses because of my beard. I know. <laughs> I still like to do it. <laughs> it's pretty cute though. Leo is 11 weeks old and really something clicked this week and all of a sudden he's super interactive and smiley. He's laughing. It's like silent. He doesn't really have sounds yet, but he like makes the laughing motion, which is really fun to watch. And he's just like becoming more and more of an actual human being and uh, really coming phasing out of the, the potted plant stage of life, which is really nice. Are you a happy boy? Are you a happy boy? Yeah. Hi, Leo. Yeah. Hi. All right, well, our temporary Whoa. blackout curtains. Oh man, it's like really Let's sunny and hot. Let there be light. <laughs> Coming down, Frank.
All right, so this right here is one of the brains. I think we have two brains because we have so many blinds. And uh, we got to install these under the stairs and plug them in. And then I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more thinking and troubleshooting. As long as there's no electrocuting, I'm fine with that. Yeah, Well, that's intimidating. Do you know what that means? <laughs> no. <laughs> How dare you. You look confused, Trent. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's just a... There's no interface here. I'm figuring out that this is a little bit more of a simple beast than I thought it was. And I've got two of the eight wires connected. Once we get those connected, I think we can go plug in the smart bridge and plug this in and scratch our heads a little bit. I don't know, we're gonna have to find a quick start guide or something that'll help us figure out how to go from point A to point B, but we're doing it. So I don't know if you guys know this, but this is Trent's office and it's slowly being taken over by electrical while electrical, wow. <laughs> <laughs> take your tongue ring out? Yeah. <laughs> electrical wires. And uh, he's just going to have to end up sharing this with all the stuff that's going to inevitably go in there. Uh, there's no light. There's no heat. So as much as I complain about having the short end of the deal for a very lackluster office space in the sunroom, it could be worse. It could be under the stairs in the basement. This is the TV that I play video games on. <laughs> this is the only place that I These Ali are the chairs me. that you sit on? These are my chairs. <laughs> I'm a humble person, okay? <laughs> I uh, just put Leo down for a little bit of a nap. And while these guys are finishing up working on connecting the first set of wires for the first set of shades, I, whoops, I'm going to go pump. A lot of you are wondering, why am I not nursing only, uh, or like, why am I bottle feeding Leo if I'm right next to him? And there's a lot I could say on this topic but I'm just gonna leave it with everybody's breastfeeding journey. It looks a little bit different. We are not giving Leo any formula. We are only giving him breast milk. We are breastfeeding and we're also bottle feeding. And for any new moms out there that are struggling with breastfeeding, I feel you. And we're all just doing the best that we can. I'm going to go pump. And hopefully when I'm done pumping, we can test out some new shades. Oh! I mean, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Oh my gosh. This looks so clean. Does it work? Is it functional? Yeah, you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Look at that. They're not um, symmetrical. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A little bit more adjusting, okay? Oh, they almost come up symmetrically. Yeah, they're doing their best. They work well, they're, and they're pretty. Yeah. yeah, I'm happy. Pleasantly surprised, the blind installation turned out. Is it, are they blinds or shades? What's I the, don't know. What is the difference? Drapery. The drape. The drapes. They're not really drapes they're though. Drapes, drapes are curtains. No. I don't they're know blinds. the difference between Blind, them. roller blinds. Okay, the roller blinds turned out beautifully in the bedroom, and I'm really excited that tonight we'll be able to sleep with blackout I almost called them curtains again, but they're blinds or shades. Whatever they are, I'm really excited with how they've turned out and they're gorgeous. We have decided instead of just powering through and continuing to install a thousand more of them today, um, it's Friday and we haven't had a Five Guys Friday in a very long time since before Leo was born. Yeah. I think it's been months and uh, I think everybody deserves a little bit of a treat. We're gonna do a big recycling cardboard box run. We gotta take the garbages down, mostly because that one's full of baby poop and it stinks. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go get some five guys. Yay! I would give it all the way to do it all again. Oh, I'm excited, but it's cold out here. My ears are hurting. Really? I was like, oh, I don't need a beanie.
All right, well, Brandon and I and Leo, the boys, are uh, hanging out out here in the parking lot just waiting for Allie, and oh, uh, here she comes. She's got the goods. What do you got there, my love? Well, I got three milkshakes for myself and burgers <laughs> for you. <laughs> I can handle that. Did you get Cajun fries? Of course I did. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank oh, have you. a... Have a kid's frosty full of fries. Yeah, that's that's a-okay. That's <laughs> it, sir. Mm -hmm. It's not the best chocolate milkshake in town, but it's pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. We've had them before. Absolutely. Thanks for lunch, guys. Of course. Thank you. I think we're gonna just like hang out and enjoy some sunshine and some milkshakes and some burgers and go get some errands done. We'll pick you guys up in a little bit. Just still sleeping in there, little buddy. Well, we just got home and got some much needed groceries. Picked up some bottles of wine. It's Friday night, baby. Oh, we're gonna party! <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna party about as much as you know. <clears throat> like it's a, 19. A married couple with a song? young baby can. 1999. 1999? <laughs> Hey! <laughs> anyway, I think this is probably going to do it for us today. I hope in the next video we're going to get the rest of the shades installed so we can have all the smart shades and everything working simultaneously, which would be really cool. But I think we made a lot of progress today and I'm happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. And if you guys did, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Brightland for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. I'll be never ends. Let's be a more than friends. Yeah. You know I'm here to stay every single day.